This is the Savvy Investor radio show and podcast with Mike Kinnett and Ryan Herbert of Prostatus Financial, now celebrating 20 years helping families build successful retirements and lasting family legacies. Mike is a financial planner and estate planning attorney with a master's degree in tax and four-time Amazon best-selling author. Ryan is a five-star wealth management award winner and top-ranked financial advisor by Forbes. Now, the Savvy Investor radio show and podcast. Thanks for joining us here on the Savvy Investor radio show and podcast now also on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Uh, Today, we're going to talk about reviving some of that dead money that you may have in your portfolio and putting it to work. Also, you're retiring. Great. But now what? Well, even the great Tom Brady has trouble adjusting to retirement. We're going to hear his words coming up. Of course, Mike and Ryan are here for you as they are every week to help you grow, keep, and distribute your wealth in the most tax-efficient manner possible. Mike Kinnett in the retirement hot seat today. Mike, how are you? It's great to see you as always. Wonderful to be here with you today, Michael. Wonderful to be with you. I love the fall weather. Mm-hmm. We have, uh, we're going to get a little bit extra sleep here sometime. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe people who are, who are stressed over retirement might not get the extra sleep, <laughs> but a little bit extra sleep coming up. I love the fall. I just absolutely love this weather. It's great for cooking. It's great for the, the final outdoors. And it's great for uh, motorcycle riding. I just absolutely love it. Well, you're a big biker, too. So we appreciate that about you, as well as a lot of our uh, viewers and, uh, and and listeners as well. But this happens twice a year. We move the clocks ahead. We bring them back. In this particular case, as uh, during the time of this recording, it's Eastern Standard Time. And it returns this weekend. We roll our clocks back an hour. So we enjoy that extra hour of sleep. But we're going to have to pay for it in the spring, which brought me to this thinking. What do you got there? I see you I'm, kind of I'm twitching so a little sure. bit. I mean, that, that extra hour of sleep, first and foremost, you got to pay it back. And that's just like your retirement money. Yeah. Right? You, you get this semblance of comfort, of peace of mind, whatever it is that you know they've told you, put money away, save it in your retirement accounts, don't pay tax today. And that's exactly what we're doing now. You're going to pay for it later. You're going to pay for it today. And quite honestly, I, like, I would rather have the consistency of knowing that when I get to retirement, I'd rather pay the tax today on a smaller number than when I get to retirement and it's a bigger number. So you pay it today or you pay it later. I'd rather pay it today when I know what it's going to be like instead of in the future because I have no idea what those clowns in Congress are going to do <laughs> to our tax rates and, and our, our economy for that matter. I mean, it's just so better the devil you know today. Right. Well, hold on a second. Mike Kinnett, you are a financial planner. You're an estate planning attorney. You have a master's degree in tax and you're also a four-time Amazon best-selling author of the book uh, right behind me right there. Nothing certain but death and taxes. Can you see it? We're supposed to pay less taxes when we retire. That's what we've been told. So why worry and about that, taxes in retirement? You know, that's kind of interesting. You know, we teach classes all over the country and you know, I've talked to thousands and thousands, of, if not hundreds of thousands of people over the years about this whole idea for some reason, we were sold this concept that when you get to retirement, don't worry about paying taxes during retirement because when you get there, you're going to be in a lesser tax bracket. Mm-hmm. And my question is, why? The only way you're in a lower tax bracket is if you have less income, right? right. So why do you think that's a good thing? Why do you want to have less income when you retire? It's been my experience, and I've been doing this a long time at this point. It's been my experience that when you go into retirement, between the honeydew list, the bucket list, and the round to it list, yeah, you know, you don't need less. You actually spend more in the first 10 years or so because of all those things you didn't get around to. And for most people that we work with, at least, it's interesting. They are so shocked that they were able to accomplish anything while they were working. Mm-hmm. Because now that they're retired, they're so busy, they don't have time to do anything except for all these things. That So the only reason why you need or want less money during retirement is if you happen to be maybe paying off your house at mm-hmm. some point early into your retirement. So certainly that house payment's going to go away. But the reality is if you buy a new car every five to ten years, you're probably going to buy a new car every five to yeah. ten years. That's not going to change. <clears throat> and now you're going to be socializing and doing activities where before you're going to the you know the grindstone and, mm-hmm. and working nine to five or whatever it was you were doing because that's you know what a way to make a living, right? So my advice is that first and foremost, you do not want to have less income. Now, I do agree we want to be in a lower tax bracket, but those two things aren't necessarily 
the same goal, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we want to have the same amount of income because we certainly want to have the same lifestyle, if not better. You know, we worked all these years and literally made hard choices with our finances to make sure that we had enough money to live that retirement you want to have. And just like you don't want to lose 20 to 30% to stock market valuations and adjustments, why would you be willing to lose 20 to 30% to taxes every year? That makes absolutely no sense. And, you know, as you're listening to us on, on the podcast or you're listening to us on the radio or, 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 you know, the Facebook live or wherever you're paying attention to this, if somebody told you, if somebody walked in and told you, hey, don't worry about it, tax rates are going to be lower when you retire because you're going to have less money, first and foremost, you can smack them upside the back of the head, you have my permission, <laughs> but then you should pick up the phone and give us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040, and sit down with Ryan and myself on our team, and we're going to show you how to have the income that you want and deserve during retirement so that you're not taking that pay cut that evidently everybody's telling you you need to do. We're going to show you how much you're paying in fees, how much risk you're taking. We're going to talk about long-term care and estate planning. And folks, we have a little over two years mm -hmm. left of the lowest tax rates you have ever seen in your life. You need to take advantage of them now. You need to create those strategies today so that when you finally are retired, or if you are retired, so that you don't continue to lose 20 to 30 percent to taxes right off the top, give us a call, 866-597-1040. We have been seeing droves of listeners, of viewers calling in and taking advantage of that tax analysis that Mike is talking about, 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. Nine seven ten forty, and that is complimentary right now for the next five savvy investor radio listeners, podcast listeners, YouTube viewers as well. Eight six six five nine seven ten forty, and online at the savvyinvestorradio.com. Again, that's the savvyinvestorradio.com. You can also click on the links that you see there as well. And they're going to give you a complete tax review and put you through that tax analysis and make sure that you are tax efficient going into retirement. Again, 866-597-1040 and online at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. Mike, let's talk about business owners because we also have a lot of uh, a lot of interest when it comes to business owners as well calling in. You talk about it all the time. You know, renters, a lot of landlords call you because they love it. They love the landlord business, but they're just tired of doing that. I think they like the idea of having grown their wealth through real estate because okay. it certainly is, is a way you can grow and I think a lot of them like the idea of that passive income because mm -hmm. every month they're getting a check, kind of like, you know, they're going to get their Social Security check. Hopefully, you know, if they're fortunate enough, they, they're going to get their pension check every month. So they like having that check come in every month. They just don't want the calls their, coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so that's a good thing. That, that's a good thing. But most of them do not like all the headaches that come along with it. Mm -hmm. And so what we've been doing for years with folks like this that love that type of income, that love the idea of owning real estate, but no longer want to own all those individual properties, there's all sorts of really cool tax strategies. And, you know, for people that own property 10, 20, and 30 years, they depreciated it over those, that time period, which means when they sell it, the profit, the gain on it can be astronomical. And again, losing 15, 20, 25%, maybe 30%, depending mm -hmm. on which state you happen to live in. That's a pretty big number to give up off the top. And, and maybe that's worth some of the headaches that you have to encounter. Our perspective is no, that's not true at all. And you know, we had, we had this doctor come into us one time, this was years ago, and he had a building and he had a practice and he sold his practice and he sold his business, two different transactions. And as, as he's getting ready to prepare for this, fortunately for him, he, he saw us on television and he decided to come and just ask a couple questions. He got our book and he asked a couple questions and he decided to come in because his his CPA told him go ahead and stroke that check for it was a little over a million dollars go ahead and check, stroke that check for a million wow. bucks um, because well you know you have the profit that's just what you're going to do and and you know when he told me this you know first of all I had to grab the trash can and throw up because the idea <laughs> of paying a million dollars in taxes it's a big I mean, number th wow <laughs> it's against everything that I believe in <laughs> but we structured the deal for him we had him make a couple twists a couple tweaks I mean it. It wasn't like he was going to take the profits and go buy a $10 million mm -hmm. house. He wasn't going to go buy a $10 million boat. He was going to invest that money to create the income streams that he needed to have during He just wants his money. Right. At the end of the day, just you know, show me the money, right? Jerry, yeah. Good old Jerry. So what we said was, how about we structure it in such a way that we can diversify your assets. We can have the building sold in such a fashion that you can still create that passive income. You don't have to be a landlord anymore, but you can create that passive income that you want, which was fantastic. Mm -hmm. We can sell the practice in such a way that you don't pay tax on it. Now think about that. You do not pay tax on that sale 
until you actually put the money into your pocket and then only to the extent that you put your money in the pocket. So for example, let's say you sold a business for, I'm making up $10 million. The profit is $10 million. Under normal circumstances, you know, you're going to pay somewhere between, I don't know, two, $3 million, $4 million in taxes. That's a reasonable expectation depending on how things are structured. And your CPA or your tax person might tell you that. But from our perspective, because you only need $100,000 a year to live on, how about if we structure it correctly, you sell that practice for $10 million, you pay zero taxes upon the sale, and every year, because you sold it when you're, I don't know, 55, and you're not gonna take Social Security to your 70, every year from age 55 to age 70, you take out $100,000, and if we do it correctly, you know how much taxes you have to pay, Michael? You know how much taxes? Instead of paying that three or four million dollars up front, how about we pay zero taxes for the first 15 years of your retirement? Wow. I think that's a great idea. One, you didn't take a pay cut going into retirement. Two, yes, your tax rates are lower, but because you worked with somebody who truly understands tax strategies. I mean, if you're a small business owner and, and you're thinking about selling your business and, and it's going to be more than a 500 to million dollar gain and you're worried about that tax implication and you don't want to give up 20 to 30 percent to Uncle Sam right off the top. I mean, think about this. You could choose to invest all million dollars in whatever it is you're going to buy, whatever you're going to invest in, or you can choose to invest seven or 800000 because that's the after-tax bill. Mm. I'd rather have a million dollars yeah. to invest. If that's where you are, if that's your mindset, that you'd rather have that million dollars to invest, you have to give us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. Sit down with Ryan and myself on our team, and yes, we're going to show you how to create income streams that you will never outlive. We're going to talk to you about how much you're paying in fees, how much risk you're taking. We're going to talk to you about estate planning and tax planning, but folks, the best way you can protect your retirement is to not pay the taxes in the first place. Don't lose that 20 to 30 percent right off the top. Give us a call 866-597-1040. Again, that's 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040 for the next few savvy investor business owners. Or if you're just, uh, you just want a tax plan, this is the opportunity for you. If you are concerned about higher taxes, now is the time for you to call in 866-597-1040 and online at the Savvy Investor Radio.com. Again, that's the Savvy Investor Radio.com front page. Click on the tax analysis button, and that'll get you started with the conversation with Mike Kinnett, with Ryan Herbert, and the team at ProStatus Financial. And you get a good team. You get a great team because they've been doing this for 20 years, helping folks I'm glad just you like cl- you. Clarified that. I'm glad you clarified that. <laughs> <laughs> helping folks just like you retire and have a tax plan for retirement because mike what is it that you say if you don't have a plan uncle sam has a tax plan for you. oh absolutely i don't think we want that one someone's going to get their money if you don't do it right yep so now is your opportunity to make sure that you have your own tax plan 866-597-1040 and online at the savvy investor radio.com so want to get to this story because if you're thinking about retiring that's great but now what do you do and after you retire, then what? Well, I found this interesting. Uh, former quarterback, superstar Tom Brady has a new position, Mike. Did you know about this? In the NFL. <laughs> Besides trying to own part of the Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> well, the new position is on the couch, which has got to be tough for a guy like that, right? And yeah. I'm sure you see this, too. When people retire, they still want to do stuff. They see their business you know, moving past them, what, so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, he said on his Let's Go podcast that retirement has been an adjustment especially on game day. Listen to this. I just watch. It's a hard thing because you just want to pull your hair on. But what the f- is going on here? Football is a tough sport. It's brutally tough. And again, I was in it. I had a very big impact on every single game. I have zero impact on any games. I didn't have that perspective even when I was playing. This is a totally new life I'm living right now too. 32 years of playing and now first time I'm on the outside looking in. 32 years of playing for many of your clients, Mike, 32 years of of working, and now they're on the sidelines looking in. I want to get into the nuts and bolts of the retirement planning, but is it hard for those people that are listening right now? Is it hard for people that you encounter, that you help? Is it hard for them to, to transition into retirement if they're thinking about that right now? It absolutely is. And we've talked about this over the years. That's why part of the conversation we have is it isn't just, you know, how much money do you need and where are we going to get the income stream for it? Part of it is, is what does retirement really look like? I mean, clearly, you know, Tom is in a different stratosphere than the rest of us, and he gets to has, sure. has different choices and options. But having said that, at the end of the day, what he just told us is what every single one of us goes through as we enter to retirement. In our minds, I were like, oh, that's Tom Brady. You know, mm-hmm. I have nothing in common with him. But yeah, you do, because, you know, in your role at work, you played an important piece 
in that position, right? Whatever you did was important. And the reason why I say that, you wouldn't have been there all those years yeah. if you weren't important to the company in the position you had. And now that you're going there, you know, you're listening to your friends and talk about it because you're still talking to some of your old coworkers and they're telling you problems and you're like pulling your hair out. Those of us that still have it and, and mine's getting a little thin, but you're pulling your hair out saying, I could fix that. I know what to do. And oh my gosh, if they would just do X, Y, and Z. So it's amazing. And you should take a moment and just enjoy this. Because you now can tell, because you listened to this show, right? You listened today and you heard you have something in common with Tom Brady, right? So at the next party, the next coffee table, the next bar, whatever you're doing next, you make sure you share that story that I have something in common with Tom Brady. It was great. I was listening to him talk about his transition and I realized, oh my gosh, you know what? I didn't know what retirement was going to look like because I didn't sit down with Mike and Ryan and his team. Tom should have sat down with us because we would have asked, <laughs> what does retirement actually look like to you? What are you going to be doing? And I've talked about this all the time. You know, my idea of retirement is riding my motorcycles, mm -hmm. playing golf, you know, three or four days a week and out in the garden and cooking. And my wife has made it abundantly clear we're next to the daughter-in-law we like best and helping with grandbabies. And those are two different retirement visions. And it doesn't mean we can't reconcile them, but... I've had that conversation. I know what my wife wants her retirement to be. I know what I want my retirement to be. And clearly, Tom had not thought through what exactly was that next phase in his life. If you give us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040, Ryan and myself and our team, we'll sit down with you and we'll actually have that conversation so that you have a better feel. Not only, you know, yes, we're going to create income streams. Yes, we're going to talk about fees and how much you're paying in taxes and long-term care and estate planning and the risk. But an important part of the conversation is what exactly does retirement look like? Yes, I want the money to last my entire lifetime. I get that. I don't want to lose 20 to 30% of taxes every year. I get that part. All those things are important. But just as important is what happens the next day when you wake up? You right. retired on Friday, Monday comes along, what happens then? Give us a call, 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. Let's have that conversation. It's so important, and it's missing in so many people's lives. And just like you, Tom Brady didn't have that conversation either. Give us a call, 866-597-1040. Bet you he had a conversation with uh, Giselle. Well, uh, maybe not so much. That was about a year and a half earlier, right? That was a year and a half earlier. That's a whole. And that's other, exactly what that retirement conversation looked like. Yeah, uh, we're retired. No, we're not. Okay, that's fine. We're divorced. Uh, that's what retirement looks like for Murphy. You know what? And we're we're joking, and you're listening, and you're watching, thinking, "Hey, they're not talking about you know this fund and this what to do here and there," because you guys take care of all that. And like you're talking about here, it's really more of a lifestyle. It's really more of a mental thing. I watched. You know, we all see Tom Brady. You know, I, I want to interject something to, with, uh, with that statement, Michael. The fact is, is that, you know, I'm good at my job when it comes to investing. You mm -hmm. know, if the stock market's up 10%, my goal is to be up 5 to 15. If the stock market's up 20%, my goal is to be 15 to 25. I mean, I want to be competitive with the stock sure. market. You know, we manage more for risk than we do for upside. So if the stock market's down, you know, 20, 25% like it was last year, you know, my clients were down single digits for the most part. So we, we manage more for risk. But the reality is, is that... It's not just about finding the right investment, right? Because to be fair, you can go to Vanguard and get a great investment. I mean, mm -hmm. you can go to Vanguard, take a little test, and they'll tell you how to allocate. And if you don't want any of the rest of the things that you know people like myself and Ryan bring to the table, if you don't need tax planning, if you don't want tax planning, if you don't understand the importance of tax planning, if you don't need estate planning, you're not worried about what happens to your assets or if you go into a nursing home or you, know, you don't care about the risk, you don't care about the fee, go to Vanguard and do it yourself. Because everybody can do that. The reason why you pick up the phone and call Ryan and myself and our team is not because you want to find the best mutual fund or the best stock or the best annuity. There's lots of people that do that. You call us because you know what? Taxes matter. You mm -hmm. call us because we have that conversation that evidently Tom's friends and family and advisors didn't have. What does retirement truly look like? Yeah. We talk about estate planning. What's going to happen to the kids? What's going to happen to the grandkids? And financial planning is so much more. I mean, my industry wants to tell you it's just about finding the right stock or bond or mutual fund. That is so far from the truth from my perspective. 
Retirement and financial planning is such a big thing when it comes to, it encompasses and involves your entire life. It is your entire being. It's, it's, like, it's like going to the doctor once a year and not letting them do anything other than listening to your heart. That is not a mm. checkup. That is not a physical. Yes, your heart is fine, but the rest of you could be falling apart. That is not how you should go through retirement. And I know I interjected here, Michael, but I just, I thought it was so important to make sure that we distinguish between you know, finding the right investment, I could do that, but that's one small piece of what I'm doing. And, and if all you're looking for is somebody to, to, to find the right investment for you, that's not me. Don't call my office. But if you truly want to have a retirement plan that addresses your income needs, that talks to you about risk and fees and long-term care and estate planning and legacy planning and taxes, that's what we bring to the table. Give us a call at 866 597 1040 866 597-1040. Again, that's 866-597-1040. And online, don't forget online, you can go to their website, thesavvyinvestorradio.com. Again, that's thesavvyinvestorradio.com. Right there, click on the Income Analyzer button, and that'll get you started with that complete retirement plan with Mike and Ryan and get the conversation started. Because as we're talking about here, it truly is a conversation. What are you doing on Tuesday, the week after? you retire. And you guys always bring that question up. And in my mind's eye, it automatically goes to, what am I going to be doing? You know, since we're talking about Tom Brady here, you see him on social media a lot with his kids and things like that. And that's great because he has that time, Mike. But I also saw a picture of him on his boat and he's sitting there and you can just tell he's thinking. And, you know, God knows what he's thinking about, but, you know, what am I going to do? You know, that's a great question to be asking yourself, but it's a, it's an even better thing to be in the position where you can ask that question. And that comes with a complete retirement plan, 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040, the next Savvy Investor radio show podcast callers, the next Savvy Investor YouTube viewers that is complimentary for you. Again, that complete retirement plan, 866-597-1040. And online at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. That's the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. Click on the Income Analyzer. And while you're there, we want to invite you to subscribe, to like, and also share the podcast with your friends. Tell your friends about the YouTube channel now. That's, uh, that's up and running. That way you can share this information with them as well and get them on the right track uh, for retirement, 866-597-1040 and online at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. Thanks again for uh, for listening today. Mike, as always, you get the final word, and we got uh, some cool birthdays to announce today. It's our 20th anniversary of being an independent financial planning firm, and one of the things that we pride ourselves on are people like Cynthia. Cynthia's birthday is 70 years old, mm -hmm. and Cindy, her husband was my client, and then their son was my client, and their grandchildren are my client. Patrick, it's his birthday. His parents were my clients. Now he's my client. We have this guy named Addison. I mean, this guy is so cool. He works for the Smithsonian Institute. Wow. He's like a bug guy. I mean, it's just really cool stories. But what I love about the way we do our business, what I love about our practice is that it's a multi-generational family practice. It's not just we take care of you and you die and we move on and you know your family does whatever you do. We really are connected to the entire family. Happy birthday to all of our clients. We appreciate everything you do for us. Thanks for listening to the Savvy Investor Radio. This is Mike Kinnett. We'll see you, the Savvy Investor, next week. Advisory services offered through ProStatus Financial Advisors Group, a registered investment advisor, insurance licensed in Maryland. ProStatus Financial Advisors Group, LLC, is not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if ProStatus Financial Advisors Group is licensed in your state, please call 410-863-1040. ProStatus Group, LLC, is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing insurance company. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through representatives of ProStatus Financial Advisors Group.